Hi everyone, my name is Sharir. I hope everyone is doing well. As you know, I make videos for all of you regarding like, you know, career, um, Australia, and also a lot of videos regarding the UK. Uh, the good news is recently I've finished my own post-graduation from uh, an UK university named Chester University. So I, I did that, so I'm going to talk about that one actually. So probably you have seen the promo and these things, and now I'm going to describe all those things one by one. So I just have some placards with, for all of you. Now, uh, I'll try to um, highlight one by one. So uh, why MSc respiratory? My personal background, uh, being a clinician, I, I used to also work in, you know, ICD at a certain point, or also international, you know, respiratory, some programs. Um, I was working as a facilitator, trainer, and there was some training was included. So. While I was choosing the MSc, so my first priority was to go for a course which is a clinical course and which will, you know, um, complement my own work actually. So that's one of the reasons, you know, if you ask me why MSc respiratory, that's like from personal reasons. So if you have some training on particular subject, try and look out for that one. Or if you want to make a career on that one in future, so try like so. Uh, being a respiratory clinician, I always wanted to have a degree. And another personal question of view, my father also went to UK at a certain point of his life to do a master. So like father, like son. So I've been there. So that's the first thing. Next coming is talking about something about that MSc course actually. So MSc um, credit and is this. So, you know, there were a lot of modules in that course actually. So there was nearly nine modules at the same time there were like even if i count including the dissertation there were like uh, 12 13 you know different things we have to learn because some of the module has you know two assignments so it's, it will be full of assignment so it it's like a one year of course and you have to be very regular that's i'm repeating you have to be very regular actually while doing that and a lot of people failed and if you have a getting a visa and all this thing you have to be regular you have to pass in a single group. if you fail you may not get that uh, the PSW so you really have to be very very regular during the course uh, regularly two three hours of study will be enough during the course so that's very very important uh, coming to a few things why MSc and diploma a lot of people has a lot of people they have confusion regarding them so for an MSc that's bigger degree diploma is a smaller degree MSc credit is 180 credit, whereas diploma credit is 120, whereas some certified courses can be, you know, it's like a 30 credit or something, 60 credit. Those are additional things actually. So so the MSc and the diploma, it's kind of like that. So at university, it might vary. Some depends on the duration. Some diploma credit can be even lower actually. All right. So the uh, credit I got, it's like a 180 and the diploma one is a 120. So just be... Uh, below MSc is a diploma one actually so that you should know okay? because in our country mostly These are diploma and some people think okay diploma probably bigger than the MSc Nothing is bigger. Whatever you do how you use it in next life. That's most important. Okay next coming You know, how did I? Uh, booked and all this thing first of all you can I, I get to know that one later I mean you can book it online all right, very easily you can contact the university and this that thing but if you're not familiar with the process you're not good with the online and this that and you need someone um, you know who will take care of everything so there was a um, institution for I also IT like future it a uh, future your future like you know and uh, ED so I, I took help like uh, uh, Mr. Oliver loving very nice and I know him for many years so I take help because they had that university um, connection so I went there and they helped me so I got a good amount of scholarship as well um, depending on my CV my CV was okay so depending on your CV you might get a different sort of scholarship like 30 percent 50 percent 70 percent so that's the thing so that's how I booked that one but you can also book through the um, online of the portal the face would be kind of similar actually next coming about the info about the course as i already mentioned it's a uh, you know nine modules and it's divided like again like 11 and counting the dissertation like a 12 so every month you understand one or two assignment and it's it's like 
I will because I have two jobs. I have to teach. I have to also do a lot of clinical things and at the same time the university for me it was very difficult actually so from personal prospect and professional prospect i really need to make a lot of balance actually um a quick information that you know if you have a spouse or children they usually can go with me during that particular time when we are shooting that video uh, it is like you know 2023 so till 2023 people still can go with the spouses new updates are coming in um, regarding the master's program you can't go with your uh, spouse or children in the beginning that's the but MA PhD programs it will be allowed that's how I know about the UK uh, if you talk about Canada or Australia that's still the spouse things are applicable so info about the course already been mentioned how difficult it was it was difficult um, you re really need good computer skill you really need a lot of other things well i have good computer skills so i don't have much trouble but i saw a lot of my um, course mates they were struggling because of a lot of thing everything is computer uh, portal send by portal not like like a hard copy an exam so everything is by kind of like a lot of presentation a lot of poster works were there actually so it was interesting uh, we also got supervisor then our pad so a lot of things were involved in that one uh, teachers were helpful if you email them everything is by email not forms email them they will answer you back there's some librarian they also help you sometimes yeah so this is the thing actually so talking about the campus it was in chester if you know about it is a like northwest part in uk so you can go to manchester directly from any country and uh, from manchester it takes uh, nearly one and a half hour to go to Chester. I used to live in Liverpool. There is a thing that you have to stay within 40 miles. So Liverpool comes under that, but Manchester is away um, from the 40 miles actually. So better you uh, live in that same area because Liverpool is called Merseyside. So Chester is also under that actually, but like same train passes this that you can use actually. All right, so we used to have the our travel car train passes so I can easily move from the Liverpool to Chester. It used to take like a 30 40 minutes um i chose because it's a big city like liverpool and you must be knowing about the liverpool football club uh, liverpool life is more nice actually chester is a bit quite airy actually so some people prefer to stay in chester some people prefer to stay in liverpool maybe you can also pick up manchester but don't try to live in birmingham or london they usually you need to notify where you live and remember they can the it can detect that where you can where from where you were attending classes they actually can detect actually so at the time they will get the psw you know they will uh, trust these things and send the report actually so try to live in the 40 mile if you're from chester like you can live in liverpool maximum or just live in chester is fine actually or any cities which is near to um chester for so example Birkenhead, yeah like that's another thing so the location of the campus is in the Chester. Uh, my campus was mainly Parker, but there's some many campuses. There's another campus named Beige. So sometimes you have to go to the Beige for taking the classes. And most of the time Parker, Bing's building, you will get familiar. Those of you who go to the Chester, Bing's building is the heart of the university where we read, I mean, drink coffee, sit with your friends, talk, then go to the classes, one classes, then the classes, sometimes whole day classes. In the beginning, more classes, remember that one actually. Gradually, the number of classes should be reduced. And before the dissertation, again, there will be more pressure. Now, coming to the expenses, actually, uh, the, my course, it was nearly, um, it's like a uh, 12,000 uh, pounds, that's like per year. And it, it, because since I get some scholarship, so it was, there was reduction, how much I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, so different people get a different sort of reduction. You can go and talk to the agencies or you can ask the universities or send your CV for you know approval for scholarship actually full funded scholarship very rarely people get actually like just mainly one or two i didn't get the full but i get the partial that's the thing All right uh, living expenses in uk i mean the most thing will go is the house rent actually so if you take a full house northwest part has house rents are there but it's still it's 800 pound for the houses but if it's a shared housing it will be nearly 400 pounds actually if it's a shared housing if it's a full house it's like 800 actually in the chester campuses the houses are like 550 to um, 600 studio apartment depends on where you're living how big is your room they will you can check in the uh, chester website now this is the part now uh, talking about the next one uk lifestyle actually uk lifestyle is very nice 
um, living, I have very good experience living in UK. Um, foods are good, all type of foods are available. This is a good thing. Uh, other than that, you know, uh, local food. Uh, I like the Turkish food. I also like like different Indian foods. Now that's the thing. Northwest, but don't expect you will find Bangladeshi food separately. You have to go to Manchester for that one. All right. So that's the thing. So food was not a problem for me actually. And if you know cooking, learn cooking before coming. Okay. So that's one of the thing actually. All right. So that's few things about the lifestyle. So it has a good life, amazing communication, good food, good nightlife. Uh, you can also go pick play sports and the things. Uh, I live in Liverpool, so Liverpool actually has the lights and everything even till um, like you know 10, 11, so everything is quite open, even though market's open by 7, but everything remains open till 11, buses and everything, but Chester everything is dark, okay, so that's why I used to live in Liverpool, so it's like a few things about the lifestyle, good quality life, good food, good life, so you, you will enjoy definitely staying, people are very friendly, very generous, that's one of the things, some, now some people, prospect actually now why people choose a master's course like example a clinical course for doctors like example like you know if you already finish plab one or if you're on the way for plab so you can go stay your visa things and you will get a credit and a degree master's is a degree so you know you will get more emphasis while getting a job for even gmc plab uh, after the course you can also get some teaching job even during course you can work actually you know so it's more a limited hours you can work but after the course you can work full time actually a lot of times I just most of the doctor doctor because I have my own institution I don't use I don't have to work like separately but I saw a lot of my colleagues they were working like a, um, a different side hustles they used to do actually and you can get like a 11 12 pounds per hour actually they used to earn actually what I've seen actually so in terms of the side jobs those are available for students actually you know and the visa, I mean, you will get a, um, of course, the visa, like, you know, you get a student visa, later you will switch to PSW, that's the thing, actually, which is kind of like a work visa, so that's the thing. Some people also try for the sponsor visa. Sponsor visa, you will get to stay for five years, and it will be counted for ILR. What is ILR? You know, search in Google, so you know, because it's just the green card type of things for the UK. So if you have a sponsorship, you can also get it. Um, eventually a ILR and then of course the citizenship actually also if you're a doctor and going for this one you can finish plab and get into the job and your ILR uh, time will be starting counting so for UK roughly it takes like five years or more to get this green card or ILR thing actually all right so that's the thing so the, we're talking already about the visa so visa for like you know as a student we get PRB whenever you go to UK the first thing you have to collect from that you know the uh, from UK is your BRB. Your identity is not your passport in UK, it's the BRB. That's the, your identity. So that's the most important thing. And after that, you'll get PSW, you will have another new BRB. Uh, I like to travel. So during the course, I didn't travel much, but I didn't know the information. For any two weeks, you can go anywhere. It doesn't matter with the course or PSW actually. You know, because later in the PSW, you know, they just ask where you have been and how many days. Did you stay? More than 14 days if more than 14 days you need to notify okay separately you know reason of uh, visiting and this that so during psw they give you a very big form to fill up in online all right so about the visa we are getting student visa and secondly the psw like example currently at the time i'm, I'm shooting this video i'm in the psw visa actually i'm i'm planning for something because i have like the connection in australia i'm figuring out that thing that you know going to australia or staying in uk um, so that's a different prospect of thing, but I need one degree so that what I've done That's the thing so far actually. So that's for the prospect and Already this is mentioned staying outside many people ask me this thing so you can um, During the courses you can also stay for two weeks that doesn't matter uh, during the summer breaks You can stay a little bit more actually, but still I'd recommend you to stay uh, not more than two weeks actually But when you get the PSW then stay for you know uh, several weeks doesn't matter but try limit it up to two months actually when you are staying outside actually all right so this is one of the thing and uh, how difficult of the course you know yeah as i said two three hours regular study and during the assignment we have to work really hard like you know eight nine hours overnight work, you know working for the assignment keep correcting plagiarism all these things but we really do it's very different from the mph or different 
this program from the hours. I know someone who was in my course already did the MPH, but they were saying it's very different. Okay, so how difficult it was, I would say quite difficult actually. You know. But you will get through it, that's the thing. Graduation, so I finished my one, so that's the thing you can congratulate me in the comment section. And I finished my graduation actually, I finished it in um, in April 2023, my result came out. I submitted the dissertation in February, result come, come out in April. So, and I got my graduation ceremony in this current November 2023 when I'm recording this one, all right? So uh, you can see my pictures of graduation already in my Facebook. Um, you can check me, you can find me in Facebook, Shaya Ahmed Shujoy, it's easy to type, yeah. So got the graduation, that was a very nice, gigantic program. Uh, it was in Chester Cathedral actually, you know, it was very nice. It will be a lifetime experience, I'm telling you, when you get the graduation and also receiving certificate. If you go back to your country and if you can't attend the graduation ceremony, you can claim the certificate just after your result. They will send it in two weeks actually, but after the result published actually, all right? So that is the thing actually. So, and finally few things actually about that one, the what you can do after like something. Now you can apply for PhD. You can also start doing job. Uh, teaching jobs are available. Side jobs are available. Uh, care worker jobs are available. And of course, you can focus. If you're a doctor, you can focus on the club too. Actually, because we're talking about MS series PT. There were more other courses available um, in the Chester and many other uh, universities in UK, like right? diabetes, orthopedics, cardio, psychiatry. Many type of available. Right, so you can also, if you have higher budget, you can also choose other good universities in London. But staying in, in London is very expensive. It's not about the university. Always remember, staying where you're staying, the, the costing and the house rent, depending on that. And it's the same thing where I lived. For example, 400 shared housing, 800 is the full house. Same thing is nearly double in London. All right, so that's how the things are actually. Next thing is the degree is recognized in your home country for some countries recognized some country it is not in bangladesh it is like technically recognized actually if you get uh, the permission from the pmdc and they will arrange some different exam but you need links and this that thing uh, i'm not focusing on that one but uh, you can try on that one actually but i saw some people after finishing msc joined as a uh, some of the department as a like a assistant professor or something like that they have joined something like that all right so it depends on that yeah but still you need to go through paperwork and the exams from pmdc you need links for that final things is it worth it uh, it will you know create more opportunities for me i had a good experience living there but i'm telling you the course was not so easy most of the things you have to do by yourself actually because it's not like um that tutors will tell you too many things. They expect that you already know a few things about research. So they start from this level. So initial things, if you don't know, I mean, I might make in another video, you know, what you need to know before starting an MSc course. What do your teachers they expect um, from you while you start? Because they start, as I said, from this level, but most people when they went there at this level, actually, you know, because in our country, the teaching things, the basic thing, we're not taught in that way actually so they are expecting we already know it will start from this level and go quite fast so if you cover up those gaps and come there um, that will be more easy actually I'll try to make a video like what are the um, initial things to know for a MSc program before joining an MSc what computer works and I'll try to make one with my spare time till then um, this is Sherry Rahman that's my name and the thing and the uh, we will see you in another video. Thank you. Bye bye. Um, um, if I only have